Hey guys, welcome to Pro Wrestling Unlimited, and here is the latest on the WWE brand split as of Thursday night, May 26th. Now I am hearing big Monday Night Raws, like the Raw after WrestleMania or the Raw after SummerSlam, we will get SmackDown guys on Raw, but they're not going to really integrate much. It's just going to, we're going to get some SmackDown stuff on there because those are always the biggest shows of the year. Also, at pay-per-views, we will have two separate announced teams. Raw guys will announce the Raw matches, and SmackDown guys will announce the SmackDown matches. As of right now, we do know that JBL and Michael Cole will do Raw, Jerry Lawler and Mauro Ranallo on SmackDown, but we don't know who the third person will be, whether they put Byron Saxton on Raw or whether they put Byron Saxton on SmackDown and who they could add to fill that third spot on either show. The final decision to do the actual brand split was actually made only two weeks ago. The first talks about the brand split actually came about a month before WrestleMania and Vince told production and the graphic design team, hey, make some new merchandise, make some new graphics, and I want like raw stuff here, SmackDown stuff here, and this and that. There's not much known on what the graphics and merch look like, but we do know that there's raw-centric graphics and merch and SmackDown-centric graphics and merch. Also, it is looking very possible right now that the SmackDown world champion, we told you, Vince already has in motion when, where, how, and who will be that world champion. And it is looking as if that title will be fought for and the champion will be crowned at Battleground. As far as NXT and guys being called up for this brand split, it looks by SummerSlam we will get 5 to 10 at least, 5 to 10 more call-ups from NXT. Now everyone's asking me who. The only thing I know is Shinsuke Nakamura should be on the main roster by then. And it's either going to be whoever is not the world champion. Well, not world champion, but NXT heavyweight champion between Finn Balor and Samoa Joe. Now we've seen the NXT champion on the main roster before. Big E did it. Kevin Owens has done it. So it's not out of the picture but I don't think they're looking into putting the NXT champion on the main roster right now as a you know permanent person. Finally, some people ask me, are the referees going to be split? Are the referees going to work just everything? No. As of right now, there will be a SmackDown crew and there will be a Raw crew for referees. Everything's getting split right down the middle. These guys are... Centric to Raw, specific, exclusive to Raw. These guys, centric, exclusive, specific to SmackDown. I also got a couple questions about, hey, are we going back to Raw's going to have the red ropes, SmackDown's going to have the blue ropes, and are we going to be able to tell the difference in the stages, or are we just going to get the, the main HD stage and have the Raw and SmackDown graphics? That I have not heard, but I'm bringing it up because I did get quite a few questions. I would assume Raw's going to have the red ropes and SmackDown's going to have the blue ropes, and then pay-per-views will probably have white ropes. But this is what we know right now as of... Thursday night, May 26th. If any more news does come up on the brand split, which is to take place, the draft, July 11th, live on Raw from Detroit, Michigan, we will bring it to you here on Pro Wrestling Unlimited. Remember, guys, comment below, like, and share this video, like us on Facebook, and subscribe here on YouTube.